Hello and welcome to my channel, my name is Miguel Perez and today we're going to talk about Valorant. I've made a lot of changes ever since my first settings video in what I use in Valorant and I figured now might be the perfect time for me to update, well, you guys as to what it is that I'm currently using. With all honesty, I feel like I've been doing a lot better with these new settings as to my old ones. And before we get started, please be sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to turn on those post notifications so that you never miss out on a video or a live stream. And now, let's get started! Alright, here we are in the general settings and my enemy highlight color is set to yellow. Tactical calls in chat are disabled. My sensitivity... I used to be playing on a 0.6 sensitivity, but ever since I experimented with 10s of sensitivity, well, one of them, 0.487, I really like this and I've decided to stick with it. I also decreased my scope sensitivity, my scope sensitivity multiplier from 1.2 to just a flat out one. Invert mouse and raw input buffer are disabled. My map settings, I decided to update these 1.1 and 0.9. And everything else from my privacy and some of my other settings, I have left completely unchanged here we are with a quick little slowdown so that you can see what it is that i'm using moving over to the controls now i know that there are new well with this new update we can now add different profiles or different settings for specific agents but i like to stick to one which is the my default not the game's default so ability one i have it bound to v Abilities 2 and 3 are bound to the side buttons on my mouse. My ultimate ability is still bound to my F key. Movement is default. Default movement road is set to run. Uh, my walk key is set to C and I do not have toggle walk enabled. I would much rather press and hold. It gives me more control. Jumping a uh, space bar and my mouse wheel down. Toggle crouch is set to off. Flying up is the space bar. Flying down is my left shift, which I use to crouch. Going over to the equipment. Everything is set to hold. Pretty much default. Melee weapon is my middle mouse button, which is just pushing on my scroll wheel. The spike on the other hand, this is one of the more interesting things. So by default it's set to four, but since I use my middle mouse button for equipping my melee button, or equipping my melee weapon, is what I meant to say. I decided to switch my equip spike to 3. Dropping the items is set to G. Inspecting the weapon, I don't have anything bound to it. Using my objects, I have it bound to my E key, but I also have it to mouse wheel up. So just by flicking on something, I can easily either use it or pick up an enemy weapon. As for the spike plant, well, that's bound to my 3 as well. Communication is pretty much the exact same. I still prefer using my X button. I don't have anything else bound. That's mostly because, well, I use a 60% keyboard. So my function keys, I'm going to have to push on my FN button just so I could use it. So I'm better off just having a single key for my pings. And radio commands, I don't think anybody in the lobbies that I've played ever uses these. So they were kind of, well, a waste. Interface, well, I'm not going to go into this too much. I do try not to mess with this, just in case. And my crosshair settings, this is where another change was, well, necessary. So because I use an enemy highlight color of yellow, I decided to switch over from my blue or my cyan blue crosshair to a much more pinkish slash purple kind of crosshair. So I do not use any outlines whatsoever or a center dot. My crosshair color pink. Show inner lines. I have that set to on. Well, I only ever use the inner lines in the first place. Settings are one, four, two, two. Movement error and firing error are disabled. And outer lines, I do not play with any outer lines whatsoever. Going over to the video tab, this is, well, 
just the resolution that I play on. I play on 1920 by 1080. I have every single, well, limit FPS setting disabled. I use NVIDIA Low Latency on On Plus Boost. As for my graphics quality, I have it set to the lowest possible just because I really need, well not, yeah, I need that boost in FPS. As for the stats, I only have my client FPS network and packet loss settings enabled. Everything else is disabled because, well, your frames per second, your network average, and your packet loss are the most important settings that you can have enabled. It helps you keep track of, well, of your game. If you're losing frames, if you're having internet connections uh, issues, this is just a quick way to check. As for my audio, I do not do anything with my audio. The only things that I ever do is disable all of the music. And that's just because the music can be a bit distracting, especially for me. I don't play with any music enabled, and when I'm streaming, I typically am not listening to anything. Even though I do play music in the background, it's mostly just for the stream. Voice chat, everything is set to default. And my voiceover, I only have the... I'm not even going to bother saying this. I have this setting disabled, everything else is enabled. And that's pretty much it for my settings. Oh, I forgot to mention. Uh, for my mouse sensitivity, I'm still playing on an 800 DPI with a 1000 pulling rate. So keep that in mind if you want to try to copy this. There you guys have it! Those are my updated settings in Valorant. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you next time.